the youth, formerly they were called Youth Polytechnic, but today we refer to them as uh, vocational and education training centers. Um, you realize that these are functions that are really been neglected from uh, all the time, let's say, from independence or from post independence to 2013, when the county governments uh, were first uh, put in place of were formed. Um, now, in this case, we had some visitors, some friends from uh, South Korea and uh, America. And uh, basically, we know South Korea is so advanced in issues technology. And uh, we want uh, our, our effort is to partner with them, uh, to earn from them in terms of skills, in terms of technology, in terms of personnel, so that uh, we can upgrade and also improve on the courses and the programs that we are offering in our uh, vocational education training centers. So our friends from Korea were here in our county. Uh, we received them and we visited a number of polytechnics. We have so far developed a proposal, which actually we have submitted to COICA, that is Korean International Cooperation Agency, and we have submitted a copy of that uh, that work or that proposal to. We have submitted a copy of that proposal to, to, to the Korean Embassy, so that they go, can go through it, uh, advise us, and then call us. That is call us, and then uh, we talk about it, and uh, we see how again we can uh, hasten this process of. Uh, operation at the areas that we want to cooperate with them.